my name is Lindy Sherries and I used to be a Sangoma. In this channel, I talk about everything, guys. Abogorobela, the secrets that we were taught not to share with you guys, how we used to trick you guys, the spirits, how everything works when you go to a Sangoma for consultation, Yamatambo. So whether you believe in God or don't believe in God, please check out this channel so we can talk about it. If you believe in God, let's share the gospel. If you don't believe in God, you can check out the channel too. I want to hear your opinion and I want people to actually Really share their opinion not insulting me without saying why thank you and i'll see you on my channel hello everybody thank you so much for joining me right in solomon's temple my name is solomon Izanga shams and it's so good to be with you guys uh thank you i hope you enjoy the new year and you've set uh goals targets and visions for this new year all i can say is may the lord guide you and protect you and lead you uh into a great year Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, Solomon's Temple. Please make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, Solomon's Temple. And those who are looking into the new year and looking for how do I make money in the new year? How do I make extra money? How do I make, make how do I have an extra side hustle? Well, I offer training for a small fee for people who want to use YouTube to make extra money because using youtube is actually a major way uh, one of the biggest ways online that you can make extra money uh, i train people on content creation advise them and consult with them so please get in touch with me on whatsapp and please uh, plus two seven eight two one two nine three eight on the bottom of the screen uh, please do get in touch with me immediately uh, because this year you should be able to make extra money you should be able to do things uh in a way that you know you can uh, really bring in extra money and 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 yeah, just to be able to make sure you uh, you're rising and you uh, you you uh, fulfill. So, um, I want to. Um, I hope you can hear me. I hope you can hear me. I hope you can. Yes. Okay. I want to talk about a good news, right? And when I say I want to talk about a good news, I mean I want to talk about a good news. The fact that TB Joshua's Emmanuel TV, the most effective tool that he used to manipulate people over the years, Emmanuel TV has been forced to shut down from the 17th of January. Emmanuel TV will cease to be on DSTV and Go TV across Africa and across the world. Well, I know it's going to be on YouTube or they're going to have it on free to air, but having it on free to air doesn't have the same influence and benefits like they would on DSTV. So officially, DSTV is kicking them out. Let me tell you something. About 10 years ago, complaints were laid for DSTV to kick out TV Joshua, but obviously because he was paying them a lot of money, uh, they didn't. For those of you who are international who, who don't know about DSTV, DSTV is like the biggest uh, bouquet of channels in Africa. That's where everybody goes to. And he has used that. This is Emmanuel TV. Officially kicked out of DSTV. He has paid a lot of money to stay on DSTV. He has manipulated a lot of people to stay on DSTV, but now they've kicked him out. I am so happy because this man used this DSTV to build his credibility, to manipulate people, gullible people, innocent people. So if you go to DSTV, so this is DSTV and this is the channel. If you go to DSTV and you actually click on it if you go to emmanuel tv on channel 390 on dstv if you click on it to get more information they will tell you that this channel will close on the 17th of january is there is there they're telling you that the channel is closing on the 17th of january So that's about two weeks or so channel is going to cease. I'm so happy, guys. You don't understand. 
because a lot of people, especially across Africa, in Kenya, Uganda, South Africa, Botswana, Namibia, people who take trips to go to Nigeria to see TB Joshua, all of those influences now on TV, because you know, one thing you have to understand, TV gives preachers credibility and prophets credibility. That's why they do anything to stay on there. Obviously, he's going to have his content on YouTube or on free to air, but it's not the same. I don't, I, I don't have free to air. A lot of people don't go to free to air. Now, if you ask me, if you don't ask me, why? Is DSTV kicking TB Joshua's Emmanuel TV out of out of their bouquet, out of their platform? I have a couple of reasons that I that I have a couple of opinion that why I feel they're kicking them out. One, Emmanuel TV was built around one man and one man only, TB Joshua, and that man passed away. So obviously. You're not going to get the views, the viewers coming in and people, you know, the engagement that you used to get, it's not going to be there. And DSTV is there based on engagement, based on viewership. So Emmanuel TV is not bringing the viewership anymore because TV Joshua is not there. There's nothing fresh. There's nothing they can show. His wife cannot continue to manipulate people the way he used to manipulate people. So he was like a god. And that's one of the dangers of building a ministry or a church or a platform by using one man. You can imagine the, the guy who started Apple, Steve Jobs, passed away. But Apple is still growing stronger. But that's not the way with our TV station, with our ministries and, and churches. We build on one person. And when, when that person passed away, passes away, that's the end of it. Number two, DSTV has understood that TB Joshua is actually not a true prophet. I'll tell you what. On Monday, the 8th of January, I want you to Google TB Joshua documentary. Midnight on Sunday, the 7th, into early morning, Sunday the, the uh, Monday, the 8th, there's going to be a global release of a three-part documentary on YouTube and on TV around that exposes TB Joshua like never before. This is the final nail on the coffin of TB Joshua. And I have been working one in, with an international media broadcaster for the last two years, helping them, speaking to victims. You're going to hear victims that you'll be shocked you will be shocked. You, you please, and there's going to be podcasts also, audio podcasts online on Spotify, and all of that. Please, I beg of you. There's over thirty victims. TB Joshua's victim. Thirty, over thirty of them. You will hear things that would shock you. I'm talking about people who lived with him, women who he did stuff to. I'm talking about one of his secret daughters coming out and speaking out. DSTV is seeing all of that. It's coming. And they have to get rid of it. TB Joshua has become irrelevant. Emmanuel TV has become irrelevant to them. And this is, again, the continuation of the fall of the TB Joshua empire that as a charlatan he built up, as a false prophet he built up, deceiving people, taking from people. All of that built on lies. We need to be careful. This is the end of TB Joshua. Manual TV is gone. Guys, I don't know. I, I don't understand if you know the impact that 
how how he used Emmanuel TV on DSTV. You don't know how he used that and deceived people. I don't know how you how you how what you think how he used that. I don't. I'm not sure you understood how he used that to grow his influence and get credibility. I'm not sure you understand that. This is the end of an era. And like I'm telling you, on Monday, the 8th of January, there's going to be a release of a documentary that we've been working on around TB Joshua. This year is the year that charlatans are going to fall. TB Joshua is falling and falling and falling, and it continues. So if TB Joshua has fallen and he's falling, why wouldn't the other small little charlatans in Uganda, in, in Kenya, in Zimbabwe, and Nigeria, Ghana, or South Africa here, why wouldn't they fall? So they all fall. He's deceived people. I, I don't understand. I'm the happiest person to see Emmanuel TV taken out of TSTV. The main deceiver is gone. So charlatans, brace themselves. You must brace yourself. This is the end of an era, the end of an evil era, the end of an era of a charlatan that we've, we've never seen that sort of wicked charlatan and deceitful charlatan like that in Africa. If you ask me, TB Joshua is much more wicked than some of the evil, past evil, dictators that we had had in Africa. At least they didn't use the name of the Lord to deceive people, to abuse people. Emmanuel TV is going to be there. It's going to be on YouTube or it's going to be on free-to-air TV. At least their influence have been drastically re reduced. Maybe like 90% of their influence. Getting off the TV platform and going to free-to-air TV would reduce your influence by 90, 95%, matter of fact. And I praise God for that. I'm glad that we're seeing that. And like I said, on Monday, the 8th of January, a global release of a documentary exposing TB Joshua. I want you, when you wake up on Monday, the 8th of January, just go and Google documentary on TB Joshua. Matter of fact, let me expose it here. Right? Go on Google BBC documentary on tb joshua because i have been working with the bbc to expose all of this the last two years they came they flew from london they came to johannesburg met me came to my house connected them with victims we did a whole lot of stuff in nigeria hired a studio i'm so happy the 8th of January, there's going to be podcast, audio podcast. So, the 8th of January, Monday, the 8th of January, officially, TB Joshua is the biggest expose on TB Joshua. The biggest exposing of TB Joshua that you've ever seen that would shake the world, the world would now know who TB Joshua really is on Monday 8. I will come here, I'll do a broadcast around it. I will share some of the clips here. And on, on the 17th of January, officially, Emmanuel TV shutting down, DSTV is shutting down Emmanuel TV. Like I said, if you go to their channel right now, this is their channel, channel 390, Emmanuel TV on DSTV. 
if you go and click on it to get more information you would see it right there channel will close on the 17th of january what do i say to that i say hallelujah guys god is doing something and i believe in this year 2024 there's going to be a serious a very serious exposing of charlatans and false prophets. Some of them, you would be shocked that they actually are doing certain things that is ungodly and immoral. Some of them that you've trusted over the years. TB Joshua in January is just laying the foundation for the biggest exposing of other so-called men of God that's going to come. Even you and I, we need to brace ourselves and continue to embrace righteousness. Without righteousness, we would be cut off in all sort of sin. We need to follow after righteousness, pursue righteousness, embrace righteousness. Anyway. Somebody is asking, we, we really appreciate your work, but I need to know, is this platform the only way you feed your family? Come on, man. I've had a family. I have a wife and two kids even before I started this platform. This platform only been here for two years, three years. And how I feed my family is it's not really your issue, isn't it? I'm a marketer, I'm a communicator. There are other things that I do. Tandeka says, I don't allow this channel in my home. Good. You cannot. You cannot. Tony says, it was long overdue. Masses were really deceased by this too. A lot of them. Christopher says, remember the 85 South Africans who died when the building collapsed in Nigeria? Yes, TB Joshua's building. And then we have uh, TL saying, is that documentary going to be released here on your channel? No. Because I'm not the official person that put the documentary together. I just helped them to put it together. They're going to release it first. Then I'll bring it here. And we have... Uh, uh, yeah, so I'm telling you facts. Just watch out in your nation and watch out the next few weeks. If you Google TB Joshua's name, how they're going to see articles everywhere. This has never happened. And you see... It, if God, God has his own way of doing things, using TB Joshua, putting him to shame, exposing him, even in death, exposing him, just so that will be a way to expose others. That would be a way to sanitize the church. Anyway, thank you so much, guys. God bless you. Please make sure you watch on Monday the 8th. When you wake up, go and search for TB Joshua documentary, TB Joshua new documentary. Watch all of it. It's going to be a three-part documentary. You would be shocked. This documentary took years to put together. You would be shocked. It's also going to be audio podcasts on Spotify and all of that. I will share some of the details here with you guys. And on the 17th of January, Emmanuel TV, Chibi Joshua's tool that he had used to deceive many people over the years, shutting down. Shutting down. Praise God. I love it. I love it. God bless you and stay strong.